Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another craft video for you. I've kind of been wanting to do some crafting and looking for some spring and summer ideas. So I went on YouTube and I did find a couple really neat ideas. I'm going to show one of those to you today. This is going to be a hanging bird bath. Yes, a hanging bird bath. And this is a very, very inexpensive craft project. Basically, it's going to cost you about one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe eight dollars at the most. Let me tell you what you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need to go to Dollar Tree and buy a round metal wreath form. I spray painted mine. If you don't want to spray paint it, if you don't want to be bothered, you don't have to. But I decided to just spray it. Um, I started with this one color and I ran out, so I ended up having to go over it with a different color. Um, they, these come in a, like a very deep green color, um, but it is up to you. So you will need one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. You will also need, you get this at Dollar Tree as well. This is a hanging um, chain with the, the little hooky things. You will need one of these, which I also spray painted. So that's two bucks. You are going to need a glass pie plate, pie uh, pan. And this one is a 10 inch uh, pie plate. So a 10 inch glass pie plate. You are going to want to wash it and dry it. You are also going to need some of these beautiful glass pebbles that you get at Dollar Tree. Um, you could do whatever colors you would like. <clears throat> I am using different shades of blue, a little bit of green, and uh, some of the clear. So depending on, you know, how, mu how many you want to put on here will depend on how many bags that you will need to buy. I always go overboard. I bought like two, four, six bags at Dollar Tree, and then I found this bag of cobalt blue ones at Walmart. There are frosted ones, you know, that look like um, sea glass. And then there are the pretty uh, clear ones. So, yeah. So, what is that? Six, seven, eight. Uh, if you already have an extra pie, you know, uh, pie pan, then you don't even need to buy one of those. I got this at Fuller's Flea Market for probably like a quarter, okay? You can thrift these all day long. So, this is a very inexpensive project, like I said. Um, you are also going to need some E6000 glue. Um, when I saw the video on YouTube, the person used like uh, some type of super glue. And when you use the super glue on the glass, it's, there's like a reaction and it turns it like hazy looking. So I decided I didn't want my my bird bath to look hazy, so I'm going to use the E6000. And I'm also going to use a little drop of hot glue uh to keep everything in place while the E6000 dries so I can t can continue to work on the on the uh project. Uh and that's it guys, a glue stick um uh, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, you take your um, your wreath form and your chains and you spray paint them if you want to. I did mine a couple days ago so they would be good and dry. So the next thing we're going to do, let me turn you down here. Okay, so I have my, my background light on so you'll be able to see a little bit better. 
So what you're going to do is take your clean pie, uh, pie pan and you are going to turn it upside down on your work surface. Then you are going to uh, open up your, your bags of gems. And this one has, I bought this one because it had the green and the cobalt blue in there. So I may add some green ones on here as well. And there are some clear ones in here, so I'm not going to open those yet. So what you're going to do is you are just going to make a design of however you would like on the bottom of your pie plate. So I'm going to take the E6000, I'm going to open it up. Now what I think I'm going to do is I am going to grab... Um, I'm going to grab this piece of cardboard out of the garbage. And I'm just going to squeeze some um, E6000 out onto here. And then I'm just going to use um, a toothpick to um, add the glue to the bottom of my stones. So I think I'm going to start with some of these cobalt blue. So I'm just going to take a toothpick. And let me show you, let me move this over so you could see. I'm just gonna dip my toothpick into the glue and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it onto the bottom of my stone. And I'm also gonna put just a teeny little dab of hot glue. Oops. <laughs> these darn, oh my God, these darn stones are very slippery. Hold on guys. We just had a small catastrophe. Let me get some paper towels and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up my mess. <laughs> Let's try this again. So I'm going to get a little bit of E6000. I'm going to put it on here. I really don't need to use um, the hot glue, so I'm just going to... There. So... Stone number one, yay! Now I'm going to get some of these frosted ones. No, I'm not gonna use the frosted. I'm gonna get some of these other blue ones and I'm gonna just kind of go in a circle the best I can. Kind of lay them out just to make sure that they all fit, see? And then I'll start gluing them. So let me get my glue on here. Little dab will do you. I'm going to spread it out and lay it on there. Press it down. I have E6000 stuck all over my fingers now. Yep, I'm just going to do it like that. Moving right along, guys. This is just a nice relaxing craft. Okay, let's get this one. Okay. You don't want to put tons of glue on here. Just enough so that they stick and they're not going to come off. See, like that. Okay, now I think I'm going to start another row, um, and I'm going to do the dark blue. So we'll do a row of the dark blue. Oh, Alexa must have me a notification for something. I heard her go off. There we go, just put the glue on there. I'm leaving space in between these. I may end up sliding them over, I'm not sure yet. I have to see how this is gonna fit.
So you don't need tons, you don't need tons of glue. I don't know, do I wanna? Let me slide them over and see. No, I want them to look more. Well, I don't know. Let's slide them, put another one in between there and see how it looks. So basically, you're just going to glue your your um your pretty stones on. However, you know, however you like them, any design that you want. Doesn't have to be, you know, a Picasso. <laughs> Yeah, these are, I'm sure this is not going to turn out the way I had envisioned, but you know, we can always just try our best. So, It takes a good 24 hours for the E6000 to completely cure. So I always I always like to let it sit for 24 hours um, before I actually use the item for its intended um, use. That way you don't risk, you know, screwing any of your hard worked your hard work, I should say. Okay, I got to fit one more stone in here. So let me see if I can, here, here's a smaller one. We'll see if it'll fit. All right, so. This is what I have so far, guys. So now I'm just going to continue uh, filling the bottom of my pie plate with the stones. If you want to, you could actually come up the sides a little bit. But you don't want to um, go up too far because then when you go to sit this um, on your wreath form, the stones are going to be in the way. So you don't want to come up way up to your the rim of your um your pie plate. So I'm just going to fast forward while I decide what I want to do with the rest of my stones. I'm going to add some more glue here on my pad. All right, I think I'm going to go with green next. So I'm going to pull some green stones out of this bag. <laughs> All right, so let me see. What do I want to do here? I was thinking...
right, everybody. This is all I am going to do. Um, but I did want to let you know that these ones that I did going down the edge, I did put a little dot of hot glue so that they would not slide down before the E6000 had a chance to dry. But this is the design that I have. I've got all kinds of little glue strands that I'll have to clean up after, but this is what it looks like. Now that's the underside look, and this is what it looks like from inside. So that's gonna be very beautiful with some water in there. So I am going to let this sit and dry for 24 hours and then I will be back to show you um, the rest of the project. Um, I used this much of the one bag of stones, this much of this smaller bag of stones that I got at Walmart, and I used a little bit out of this bag. So I think basically the most you would need would be three bags of stones um, depending on how much you want to put on here. But I think three bags would be more than enough. All right, so once this is all dry, um, I'll be back. Okay, everyone, it has been 24 hours and this is, this is all dry. So now it's just a matter of assembling everything together, which only takes about two minutes. So first I'm going to attach my, my hanger. So hopefully I could get this right the first time. <laughs> we shall see. All right, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do it one there. Uh, let's see, one here. Oh, hang on. <laughs> they done got twisted. Hold on there. We got to switch this out because they twisted. Hold on, guys. This one's going to go over here. And this one will go here. So, as you can see, I hooked them in between the uh, braces that go across the form, okay? So, let me just turn this because we're still twisted. We're still twisted. These moved. Hold on, guys. I don't know how the heck this happens to me, but hold on. All right, this went up here. All right. <laughs> to set our pie plate in the middle. Look at this, guys. And then you just fill this with your water and you hang this up on a hook outside. And it would be amazing. Oh my goodness. I wish I could hang this somehow and show you guys. But it is cold out right now, and I'm not going out there. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. Let me turn this up. There. Now you can see it a little better. See that? Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Now, if you wanted to, you could E6000 your pie plate to the form 
But the reason I'm not going to is because if I want to remove it so I can wash it, it, I just feel like it would be easier to just leave it. You don't really have to glue it because it rests perfectly on the edge of this inside um, uh, metal ring. So, there you have it, everyone. Isn't this awesome? I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, like my PJs. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.